Britain is in the grip of an obesity epidemic. We can't seem to stop eating, and we are getting fatter. It's one of the greatest public health challenges of the 21st century, and rarely out of the papers. Apocalypse now. Obesity, as big a threat to the UK as terrorism. Obesity is all over the news, and it garners really shocking headlines. In recent years, attitudes are becoming more and more judgmental. There's lots of things that I can't stand, but one of them in particular is fat children. You know who's responsible for you being fat? You. That's it. But when I sit there and I look at somebody that's overweight, I find that utterly repulsive and disgusting. And the verdict seems to be that the obese people are to blame. They are slothful, they're lazy, they're bad. In my view, nothing could be further from the truth. My name is Giles Yeo. I'm a geneticist. I study genes that are linked to obesity. I spend most of my time pipetting liquids from one thing to another. But these test tubes can't tell the full story. But what I want to do is to actually know the person behind these genes. I want to meet the people behind some of the more alarming headlines. A lot of fat people, we put on a good facade, but inside we're crying. I want to hear from them why they think they can't stop eating. That was a general lunch for me. I want to dispel some of the myths about obesity. You're not lazy is not because you lack willpower. You guys are fighting your biology. And see what solution science can offer. So what we're hoping the fecal transplant will do is help people to feel more full and therefore will influence weight loss. Fast forward 10 years, obesity won't be a problem. They'll we'll have the injections, they'll be painless, no side effects, and actually really inexpensive and freely available. What's it actually like to live with obesity? I'm bringing together a group of obese people to hear their views. With obesity, I, I think people do treat you differently. They ignore you, they don't see you as a real person. Some people have let doors just slam in my face, look me up and down in disgust. You can see the mouths dropping open because they're just thinking, who is that? People certainly think that because you are fat, you're not intelligent. It's a very frustrating thing when people judge you for how you look. I just think we need to get to a place where we're just kinder to people. 